All right, so we've successfully built an app that runs a super user command for us by the user just clicking a button, which is really handy, especially if you have a complicated thing that you need the user to do um, regularly or not so regularly, but uh, needs to be done and uh, trying to get them to type all of the things into the terminal could be a little tedious. You can do something like this to make an app where you just click a button and it uh, and it does all the magic for you. And once again, you can put any any super user command in here. You could have more than one uh, at a time, um, either the same way you would on a terminal, either with the ampersands like uh, and 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 then do more commands, more commands here, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, or uh, by actually having more methods, more buttons uh, that did different things. Uh, lots of different options are available to you. Um, and uh, so hopefully this, uh, this was useful for you in just trying to figure out uh, how to build a very basic, very simple app for, um, for doing something. Uh, one of the big problems that we have here was the content constraint layout was how it uh, you know forced everything uh, to be in this kind of funky uh, position like this you could play around with some different layouts um, like use a linear layout instead and in that linear layout go ahead and put your buttons in there There we go. And uh, even uh, change it so that the constraint layout is not the not the main layout. Or you could just change this to be, uh, you know, um, you know, like a, a linear layout right there. Linear layout. Save that. And then you go back to design, and it would uh, look a little less funky um, hopefully when you would run it uh, different different methods that you could utilize to uh, change the way things look again this is not exactly an app builder course to help you figure out how to do everything you want to do with an app this is just a very basic very beginner look at how we can build a very simple app that is going to literally just um, allow us to click one button that's going to run a root permission super user app uh, or super user permission um, command for us uh, in our that we've programmed into our main activity here. So this programming right here, this little block right here, is shell scripting just like you would uh, from the terminal um, in Android or in uh, Linux in general. Uh, the rest of this in here is actually Java. So just something to be aware of um, and to uh, you know to learn from. If you uh, enjoy building this app, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me. If you enjoy building this app, sorry about that. Had a coughing fit there, but if you enjoy building this app and you want to learn more about building apps, um, I would really, really recommend, and I'm not getting paid to say this, I'm not getting any kind of kickback from it, but uh, on uh, Udemy is uh, is uh, tons of uh, great um, courses, but uh, in particular is a course by a man named Rob Percival. And Rob Percival, and he has several Android uh, building applications. Um, but uh, this uh, build the 23 apps for the complete uh, Android Oreo developer course or the Nugget developer course. Um, right now they're on sale for about 10 bucks or something like that. Again, I don't get any kind of kickback from this at all. There's a lot of other great um, app builders out there, but boy, Rob Percival just uh, really does an awesome job um, that you can uh, check those out and you'll learn so much stuff. Um, 
building real apps like he's going to build uh, Super Mario Run, WhatsApp, and Instagram. Um, and it's I, I I'm not going to lie to you. It's probably the best ten bucks you will ever spend uh, on learning how to build Android apps. Um, it uh, it definitely was huge uh, for me. Um, <clears throat> shows how to uh, install you know Android Studio, Java Deep Dive, images, video, sound. You know he makes he makes it fun because you make little games and stuff along the way and put stuff in there. Um, advanced features and things like that uh, and then and then you start doing maps and geolocation and you're going to be making apps like uh, you know um, kind of like a Google Maps and hiker hiker watch stuff and uh, and then you you go go through there and just tons of really great apps along the way that you're going to make and things that you're going to learn uh, would be really incredible so if you really want to learn more about making apps again, no kickback here for me. Uh, I just can't see enough about uh, Rob Percival um, and uh, and his uh, different uh, apps uh, and app courses that he's made here. Um, this Oreo one is not the one I took because originally when I took it, uh, Nugget was still new. And uh, so I believe the one that I took was actually for Marshmallow. And so I didn't get to make Super Mario Run. But uh, we made Flappy Bird instead, which was a lot of fun uh, to do as well. So cool stuff that you can do. Um, be sure to check that out if you're interested in making more apps. Also remember that if you need any template for the stuff that we talked about when we made this app. My app, Real Control, is a very simple, straightforward app. It only has two buttons in it, and they both run a different uh, command uh, as a super user. So definitely worth uh, checking out if you just need a template for how to make um, make an app that uh, is going to run some super user command for you for the custom ROMs and uh, kernels that you're building. And also, uh, just one final note, if this is something that's, you know, interesting to you guys, if this is the kind of thing you want to see um, more of uh, on this channel, I can't necessarily promise anything, but uh, just let me know if, uh, you know, this foray into uh, app development was something that was, uh, you know, worthwhile adventure, or if maybe we should just stick to, uh, you know, building custom ROMs and building custom kernels and that sort of thing.